Uh, welcome, welcome to Unhinged with the Door Dork, where door hardware nerds get together, we knock and we slam on different door fells. Um, we learn, we laugh, and sometimes we even cry, depending on how bad the install is. But uh, mostly we just have fun dorking around, uh, dorking out on some doors. Uh, today we have a very special guest. Uh, we've got Nelson Kreschel, Kreschel from the Asa Abloy Door Group, and um, I'll let him introduce himself. Hi, I'm Nelson, and uh, I've been with the in, in the in openings industry from the time I, I graduated from uh, Iowa State University. Go Cyclones! Uh, <laughs> and I've been with uh, Asa Abloy for about 30 years in various capacities, anything from engineering to operations uh, to product management, which is what I do now. And uh, I'm one of those type guys that likes to... Uh, embarrass uh, my family by any time I walk through a door opening, I check the hinges, the lock, the door, I check the top of the door to see if, it, if it's a steel door to see whose it is. I'll look and see if it's fire rated or whose hardware it is. So yeah, I'm a door dork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was going to say 30 years in the industry, uh, you've got to have some, uh, some dorkiness, some uh, door hardware nerd uh, deep in there so you know you open up the door it's the nice thing to do so your family can go through but then when they're waiting and your food is getting cold and right there's 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 a, a fine line you have to balance it right <laughs> um and then uh, as always we've got uh, the wonderful mia merrill i'll let her introduce herself as well yep product manager uh just like nelson um but i am for the hardware brands and uh you know i am also the producer and woman behind the curtain for door hardware nerds and i am happy to be back welcome back <laughs> yeah well uh, i've got a few doozies for us today but for those who don't know how unhinged works is uh, i'll pop up a picture of a door or a lock or something related to an opening in general um, we'll react we'll slam we'll knock it and then we'll give it a knocking score uh, between one and ten one being not too bad and ten being pretty knocking bad. Um, does that sound okay, Nelson? Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. All right. I will share my screen and we'll jump into it. Okay. You ready? Are ready. We ever, are we ever ready? <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know if we're ready for this one. Well, somebody's confused. This is not, not the droid you're color. looking for. I like the color. Yeah, that definitely stands out, but, uh, I don't know about you, Nelson. Uh, you've got 30 years of uh, industry experience. That, that looks like a door to me. Yeah, it does to me too. And it even has a lock that looks like it's going to be able to uh, uh, hold the door closed. Uh, there's also a hollow metal frame there. Yeah, yeah. And the undercut's pretty good. Uh, looks like it'll clear the tile. So I, I somebody, like I said, really confused on this one. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if they meant not an exit. You <laughs> might be right, Mia. <laughs> don't use this as an exit door. They forgot a word. You know, I don't know about you, but if I saw this at a place, I would absolutely want to go through this because this is not a door. Well, this appears to be a door. So let me investigate. And it would probably be the exact opposite of what they're looking for me to be doing. But you wonder uh, what's on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, we're all curious creatures and, uh, I might have to pull out my pick set to get through that. Hopefully it's not too high security. I wonder if that's uh, where the dirty laundry is. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> the skeletons in their closet, right? You, know, you see the, once you have a door on those machines just to the, to the right there. Nelson, you know what it is? It's where all the missing sock pairs are. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. So maybe you can't get the door open. That's the reason they say not a door. There's so many socks in there. I think this uh, door has a, a complex, you know, it's a, uh, it's, um, what's the word for, you know, the, they lie all the time. Um, pathological. Yeah. Pathological liar. That's the pathological liar door. All right. So I, I don't believe there's any code violations in this one per se. I think there might be a, like a, a, a code deep somewhere where it talks about where for, it's mostly for firemen to go through different doors but I'm not 100% sure what that looks like, where it says this is just not a door where people are living or existing. So maybe that's why it's there. But I thought it was funny and clever to have a, a door being not a door. 
So if you guys gave it a knocking score, um, one through 10, what would you uh, say, Nelson? I'd probably say about a six because it's it's not quite average. So I would say about a six. Yeah, no, that's a healthy, healthy knocking score. <laughs> I'd say it's probably like a three. I mean, really, it's just mislabeled. So it might even be lower than a three. Nothing's really necessarily wrong with the store. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, the, there's no obvious code violations. No one's in immediate danger. I, I think the only thing I would give it- you, a don't high know, score, you don't know that they're not in immediate danger. You could open I, that door and be, you know, have all those socks coming, you know, and <laughs> really have an odor that you really wouldn't want to be around. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why it's up there. That sign is, it's not a door because you don't want to go in there. Just, just, just don't even worry about it. <laughs> okay, I'll jump on to the next one. Next one, uh, I'll preface it a little bit, is not really a door hardware fail, but it's pretty impressive. I'll, I'll let you guys look at it. Wow, that so, is a big door. It's a very large door. It's, uh, let's see, I've got my notes here. It's cast bronze, so it's a very heavy door. It's what, probably and, 30 feet? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a very short person. And it is the oldest working door to date. Um, this was built in the Roman Empire uh, back in uh, 115 AD. So, and it still works today. You can see the, um, where people push on it. it and it, works, yeah. it is so well balanced that people can still, one person can open this easily without any assistance. Like talk about like, they don't make it like they used to, right? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Wow. Wow, where is this door? It's in Rome. Of course, it's in yeah. Rome. Yeah, and yeah. Roman Empire, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I went on my honeymoon to Rome, and I probably came across this door before I became a door hardware nerd. And I might even have a picture of this somewhere, thinking, "Oh, that's an impressive door." Not even like putting two to two together, realizing that it would quickly become my entire life, right? <laughs> It's, I mean, it's a beautiful opening. I will say that. It like, is. I wish we still had new architecture going up that had openings that looked like this. Yes, it is very impressive. And really, I mean, I, the fact that it can be still open by one person, I mean, you would definitely meet, if that's the case, I, I would think you'd probably meet code requirements for uh, uh, maybe even means of egress. Yeah, I don't know if it'll meet like any uh, five pound requirements. I mean, it's uh, a good uh, a good shoulder into the the door, but um, yeah, I don't, I, yeah. Um, and I don't know if you guys knew, but the Romans actually had a god of door hinges, so that's why it's so well hung. A god of door hinges. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot the name of her, but if there's a goddess, sorry, a goddess of door hinges. And I thought that was pretty impressive. <laughs> the Romans were the first to mass produce door hinges. Um, if it, before then, it was strictly for military like gates and then uh, uh, like synagogues and temples and church uh, monasteries. That was the only place where you'd find door hinges. Everyone else just had an open doorway or a a, a wooden slot that they would set right there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know if we need to give this a knocking score because it's just beautiful and I thought it was interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, no knocks from me. Zero. No knocks from me either. Zero. <laughs> I mean, it's just Although, kind of like, wow. Yeah. I'd love to see. I'd love to see what kind of marks are on the hinge because I hinges. I can't imagine that they didn't have some sort of identification of who actually made the hinge. It's really impressive. All right. Well, thank you, Mia, and thank you, Nelson, for joining. Yeah, thank you. Always a pleasure to have hardware nerds uh, dorking out together on Unhinged. Um, make sure you join us next time for Unhinged. Uh, our doors are always open because they're unhinged. Speaking of the goddess of un of hinges, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Don't forget to click like on this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.